like to call the meeting, September meeting of the County Board to order. Would you all please rise and join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, I'd like to welcome any guests we have today. Staff, we appreciate you being here. Augie, would you please call the roll? Certainly. Ludington. Here. Patrick. Here. Bruner. Yes. Lorenzen. Here. Farnham. Here. Chittick. Here. McCoy. Here. We have the minutes from August 14th uh, to check. Are there any additions or corrections to those minutes as presented that you've had for a few days? Hearing none, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Yes. Phil moves. Uh, Derek seconds. All those in favor, favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed, nay. They are approved. Next item is claims against the county. Likewise, you've had those for a few days. Uh, are there any questions or clarification you need on the bills? Hearing none, I entertain a motion to approve those claims against the county. Derek moves. Any seconds? Further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. It does carry. Thank you, gentlemen. Next is the county board member claims. Likewise, you've had those for a few days. Are there any additions, or I'm sorry, questions or clarifications needed? Hearing none, I'd entertain a motion to approve those claims. Derek moves. Andy seconds. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Likewise, those do carry. Now we come to the portion of the meeting where we ask for public comment. We would ask you to identify yourself and uh, limit your comments uh, to five minutes. Are there any public comments for us here today? Hearing none, we'll move along with the meeting. Uh, item eight is the highway resolution, and this resolution is for 2019 Supplemental County Maintenance Resolution BLR 14220, appropriating funds from the county's motor fuel tax allotment for the maintenance of county highways for the period beginning 1-1-19 through 12-31-19. We heard about that a little uh, on uh, Monday morning, but uh, Mr. Engineer, if you just give us a brief synopsis of what we're voting on. We're amending the, uh, the amount that you guys appropriated down. Okay. Are there any questions of the engineer on this issue? Hearing none, I'd entertain a motion for the approval of this resolution. Okay. Phil moves. Carl seconds. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Mr. Clerk, would you call the roll? Luddington? Yes. Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Lorenzen? Yes. Barnum? Yes. Chip? Yes. Next item, it does carry, pardon me. Next item, Vic Boyer has been here for a couple of meetings, and they're looking for a an official support or a motion for them in their uh, Lincoln com for the Lincoln committee, uh, they're putting want to put in a statue of Lincoln on the courthouse lawn. Uh, the sheriff has been kind enough to to uh, include his input, and he favors it. So we need a motion to support their efforts. So I'd entertain that motion unless there's a question. John moves. Second. Derek seconds. Any further discussion? Mr. Clerk, was that succinct enough, do you think, for the Boyers? I think so, yes. All right. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Next, we come to the uh, satellite health insurance issues. Currently, uh, we need to, and I think there's, Carl, on... 
the uh, HSA, don't we pay twelve fifty? Isn't that what's in the union contract? No, I think it's twelve fifty. I just real. Yeah, the HSA. And I think those are all. I think everything's at twelve fifty. We'll have to check that. The health savings, what we put in, is it's twelve fifty. All right. So we have to be consistent throughout everything. In other words, if we're doing that under the union contract, we need to do that for everyone. And I think that's the way we did it last year. Okay. And then is for that the, a fifty dollar increase from the last year, or is it the same? I, I can't tell you. Okay. It should have been twelve fifty because that's what was in I, the I had it in my mind as twelve hundred. Yeah, I could that's have been around twelve hundred. Yeah. Yeah. In the union contract, it's twelve fifty. Really? Okay. I don't. Uh, Jeff, do you remember what it is in the HSA? No, there was twelve hundred, but I think that was twelve hundred. I'm thinking that was years ago when they opted out. How about if we do it? We approve that again this year, whatever's consistent with the union contract. How's that? For all employees, yes. Right. In other words, the opt-out or the HSA, we keep it whatever, whatever's in the union contract, whether it be 12 or 12.50. Just so we're clear, using the right verbiage here, this is contributions to each individual employee's health savings account. That's correct. And, and the opt-out is, I'm sorry, go ahead, John. No, I was just going to explain what she started to. I thought no, please, going. go ahead. And if you opt out of insurance, you get the same money also. Right. Okay. Is that, is that consistent with what everybody's thinking? And that way, if I'm wrong or if I'm right, it, it's, it's already, we follow what we've been doing. Okay. And what's in the contract. Can somebody uh, make that motion then? Based upon what I just said, have you got that? Well, you, I do. Well, I'm not going to say all that stuff again. But I'll no, you, you don't. Medicare and uh, PPO. Oh, those those aren't twelve. Oh, what? Yeah, we've got to do the. We got to include Medicare is uh, three oh five, and then the PPO has been what? Thirty. Thirty. Thirty a month. Thirty a month. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we keep everything the same and consistent with the union contract, okay? Which include PPO, HSAs, opt-outs, and Medicare, okay? Everything. Okay? He's got the verbiage. Does somebody want to make the motion? Uh, Derek moves and uh, Dan seconds. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, nay. Sorry, that was a little, oh, that carries. A little bit more convoluted than I planned, but and we'll check that right away and let the clerk and the deputy know. Okay. The uh, item 11 is the sale of property, the summer sale that they had. You can see here what everybody bought. I can read those all, but I'd entertain a motion. Uh, or res does that need to be a uh, roll call? Yes, it does. Okay, so. Uh, is there a motion to approve the following conveyances to Barbara Lynch, William Runyon, Tom Ritchie, Lawrence Ritchie, Rebecca Ritchie, Eric and Anita Marvin, Thomas Ritchie, Lawrence Ritchie, Rebecca Ritchie, Gordon Peoples, uh, Michael Creech, Grace, Gracie Creech, uh, Perry Piper, Long Term Trust, twice. Uh, John Morris and Hervesto Garcia. So, Evaristo. Fine. Can you just go through this one more time? <laughs> no. <laughs> we have a motion from Phil. Do we have a second? Any seconds? Any further questions? Mr. Clerk. Ludington. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Bruner. Yes. Lorenzo. Yes. Farnham. Yes. Chittick. Yes. Does carry, thank you. Next, a resolution to appoint Ray Crable as trustee of the Brockton Community Fire Protection District. Can I have a motion to approve him? Dan moves. Second. Second. Carl seconds. Uh, Mr. Clerk, would you call the roll? 
Ludington. Yes. Packer. Yes. Bruner. Yes. Lorenzen. Yes. Farney. Yes. Chittick. Yes. Does carry. Next, a resolution of acceptance of oath, uh, office oath and bond for Ray Crable, trustee, Brockton Fire Protection, I'm sorry, Brockton Community Fire Protection District. Motion, Carl moves. A second, please. Andy seconds. Mr. Clerk. Ludington. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Bruner. Yes. Lorenzo. Yes. Farnham. Yes. Chip. Yes. We're good. Thank you. Next, resolution appointing Rodney Wood as trustee of the Brockton Drainage uh, District of, of the County of Edgar in the state of Illinois. Make that motion. Carl moves. Andy seconds. Mr. Clerk. Ludington. Yes. Patrick. Yes. Bruner. Lorenzen. <coughs> yes. Farnham. Yes. Chick. Yes. It does carry. Next, we come to uh, department heads and elected officials. Don will not be here this morning. He had a, an appointment to attend. He did want me to obviously pass out the uh, current fund balances. Uh, we've only got in sales tax so far this, this month. Uh, and he's also going to do a small distribution at uh, the end of this week or the first of next week. That he asked me to convey to you those things. Don't forget your taxes are due the 20th. The 20th. So that's coming up. So I just wanted to mention that to everybody that property, the last payment of the property <coughs> taxes is due on September 20th. I know you're all excited. Okay, Mr. Engineer. Mm, oh, nothing. Any questions for the highway department? Thank you. Um, Monty? I have nothing new to report. It's going good. Okay. Janet? Uh, nothing, just wanted to um, let people know we are having our uh, car seat check day. Um, it's in conjunction with National Seat Check Week. Um, it'll be at the health department on Friday, September the 20th from 1230 to 4. We set up as, uh, as a drive-through, so basically drive-through seat checks. Um, our technicians, uh, they are certified, and if replacement seats are deemed necessary, they are provided free of charge, and anyone and everyone is welcome to come. Any questions for her out of the, or out of the health department? Okay. Sam? Ambulance? Yeah, crews are busy this morning. Um, with a lot of 9-11 observation and memorial, um, there's a breakfast and a couple of different honor um, flag, flag raisings this morning. So we appreciate the community inviting us out for that. We've had a successful football season so far, no real injuries. We are at JFL, um, J JV, and varsity football games. And uh, other than that, any questions of Samantha? Did you have any comments on your meeting or anything? Derek, everything good? Everything's good. Okay, thank you. Angie, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Good. What's I don't have anything today, no bad news. Oh good, a day without bad news. <laughs> Sheriff? I'm um, good today, thank you. Jill, how are you? I'm good. So we attended the IEM conference in Springfield last week and then we have a lot going on. We have a couple kids coming out to the job shop in a couple weeks, so it'll be fun. I just signed a grant yes. proposal. How much is that for? That's just our extra, like, because, like, the fifth quarter, if I have any, I don't know the exact total, but it, whatever is, like, left over, they'll give that to us. So. Okay. Tom, how are you? Fine. Uh, our project has reached a point where we're waiting on our fuel systems to arrive. Spoke to the company bringing them yesterday. They're supposed to arrive Monday the 23rd. It'll be a week installation of that. <coughs> okay, that's good news. Should we have like a marching band out there or something? To <laughs> haven't tried yet. Harold, the right. <laughs> okay. So, and then there's more, some more concrete, at least a day's worth of pour. Of course, they Most can't do of, that at this time. Right. Underground wiring is pretty much that's in. The, so, okay. Uh, we haven't heard any more about the bidding for the second 
phase of the project yet, but we have a meeting in Springfield sometime next month, right? Okay. Jonathan, nice to see you today. Did you have anything that you wish to talk to us about, HRC? Yes, I've got some, uh, I've got our annual numbers. Um, for mental health, we serve 378 people in Edgar County this year, and uh, 1,100 and some change overall. Uh, 117 substance use disorder treatment, and 35 we help find jobs in the community. Um, we have an active treatment program, which is a day program for people who have developmental disabilities behind the hospital. Uh, we serve 54 people there, and 49 of those are, were from Edgar County this year. We also have five people in our residential programs. Three of those live at our group home. We are currently doing a fundraiser. Um, it's actually on Facebook is where we're doing a fundraiser for some improvements at that group home. I certainly appreciate any support. Um, and then a couple of other quick things. We're revamping our billing system, and I expect to see a lot more transparency and clarity with that. And then uh, our program for people with developmental disabilities, uh, we are working with the school right now to try to develop a transition program for kids that have disabilities to be able to go straight into our laundry, work on the VA laundry, and then from there place them in employer job or employment. So we have a lot of, of big things. Where's your group home at? Um, it's on the west side. Um, I say that because the state of Illinois Department of um, DD has told us we're not supposed to disclose uh, do you address. still Clark County rest stop? Do you still work down there? Yes, we do. We have a state use contract, and we employ people that are um, hard, uh, that have a hard time getting jobs elsewhere. So they may have significant disabilities. They may have minor criminal histories or no work history whatsoever mm -hmm. to work. I knew that at one time they discontinued it, but I didn't know whether they ever started they, back up. They did pick it back up. Um, the state discontinued it over the water issue once, and then they discontinued it again to do some remodeling, but we are open currently. Good. And I recommend you stop there, because you can see your face and the floor of reflection. Right. And I know you guys come and do the cleaning at the courthouse two or three times a week also. Yes, sir. I just saw Betsy downstairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, I think that's working out real well. Yeah. So we want to continue it. Thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Are there any further questions? We hope you're settling in and enjoying yourself and are well challenged. Okay? I'm assuming you are. Yeah. All right. Augie? I think I'm good. Thank you. You're good? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, we're come to the part of the meeting for board uh, committee reports. How about you, Dan? I have nothing. Andy? Um, I got a, it said on Monday, I got a uh, estimate on getting the roof fixed above <laughs> over there. <laughs> that is me. <laughs> Where's the north? Trust the brown building. Um, Northwest corner. Okay. Uh, the leaked. And I called John and asked him about it. The estimate was like $15,000 to fix that one row. Right. But he said, he goes, keep in mind that the reason that it's so high is because it's it's a state job basically it's a government job so you've got to pay for living wage. I asked him about the gutters. He said probably twenty five hundred dollars. So it'd be seventeen five. Yeah. yeah. He said twenty five would be the max. He goes I'm afraid because it's it's complicated and he doesn't he doesn't want it to look bad. He wants it to he goes and there's you've got to put anchors and different things and he goes it's it's not just a normal put your gutters on a house kind of a deal so. He said that would be the maximum, it would be 2500 extra. So we're moving ahead with that. <clears throat> I told him if you didn't hear from me, go ahead and do it. I'll, I'll call him and tell him this morning. Okay. Okay. I want to let you know I did run into Ross, and on the fiber optics and all the things, uh, he's uh, going to do the annex first. Okay. Then this building, and then he will move on to the jail. Okay. Okay. 
Is, are, have they started? They're going to start on Monday. Monday, okay, good. He um, was working on uh, the main mm -hmm. part of getting it, you know, the first part of it was that 8,000 or 9,000 getting yeah. it all the infrastructure in so that then he could get it out to the other, all the facilities. Okay. That part's done. Okay. okay. Bill? No. John? I have nothing. Carl? Nothing. Derek? I'd like to just meet with you and Tom uh, after this, just real quick. We'll schedule that meeting. And, all parties involved. <coughs> and what's the name of the place where we either go before or after? Oh, Freddy's. Freddy's. That's got to be on the well, agenda. Freddy's. It's Freddy's. It's delicious. <laughs> okay. Uh, budget is ongoing. I'd like to remove. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, just want to make sure all the business was done. Uh, I want to remind the department heads, if you can, we'd sure like to see your uh, draft budget by tomorrow or at the very earliest possible time. We've got to start putting that budget together. I'd like to get it out to the board, or we would like to get it out to the board late this month, because that will only leave us basically a month to deal with these, all these issues. So if you could... Please expedite what you're trying to do and put that kind of, not in place of emergencies, but put it up on the on the priority sheet. Thank you. Um, you got a copy of the budget, board members? Uh, I've got the, we've got the uh, income more or less worked out, but I've gotten a couple things that were good news and increases so I need to modify those, but anyway, that's about all I have today. We do need, uh, we have a need of a closed session on personnel and negotiations that we need to uh, have a motion on to go into closed session. And pending. What? And pending litigation. And pending litigation, yes, thank you. What was the first reason? I'm sorry. Personnel. Okay. So moved. Derek moves. Carl seconds. All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed nay. We'll take a five minute break. Um, thank you all for being here. No decisions will uh, <coughs> take place. <coughs> well, except for the mer All right, we're, we're back in open session now. Yes, we're back in open session. Forget about the John comment. At any rate, is there anything else to come before the meeting? Hearing none, a motion to adjourn. Andy moves, Carl seconds. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. We're adjourned.